your girl club so today's video i wanted to talk about adult bullies um i did as says exoticals we're gonna deal with adult bullies probably our whole lives whether that's online or in person we're always gonna deal with bullies since a child now into adulthood i feel like if you're in a, a workplace that has like more than 50 people it's basically a high school type of environment for the most part because of the way people behave i swear my job is like a adult high school and i and these women that are older than me have kids my age will be straight hating me hating on me just because i'm there looking cute because i have the type of job where you don't have to dress cute you can literally wear workout clothes pajamas and that's what a lot of people do but guess what i'm not gonna do i don't do that i don't i don't dress down i used to suppress a lot of my beauty and femininity for people but those days are over with and i'm noticing because those days are over with people don't like me more than ever because i my confidence is at an all-time high too it really is my confidence is at a whole new light and i i walk different i move different so imagine i'm already attractive and i not only that i'm confident i'm funny i'm funny in real life i'm i'm goofy people i'm likable um i literally don't have to say much to get attention and people don't like that there's this girl i swear like if, she, if i'm around and i'm around her people it's like we have mutual friends but she just does not like me her, like today um we were all kind of sitting at the table but she was the only one at the other table and she waited till i left to want to rejoin their table i'm like is this girl for real it's so obvious that you don't like me it's weird but I didn't do nothing to this girl. I promise I didn't do nothing to her. Like, this girl can't even look at me, y'all. It's crazy. She does not give me eye contact for nothing. And she'll accidentally bump into me. And, like, this girl doesn't make any eye contact with me at all. Like, she'll accidentally bump into me and everything. And no excuse me. She won't look at me for nothing. I don't get no respect from her. I don't care how nice I am to her. You know what I mean? It's weird. And then men... If they're jealous of you, they're going to make you feel some type of way. Men can be cruel, too. Especially if you're dating a guy who can be jealous of you sometimes. And he knows your triggers. And he'll still push them anyway. Um, like, why do people want to give us a hard time? I would never treat him like that. But every time he's mad at me or he t thinks um, a guy is trying to hit on me or something. And he'll see it. He'll kind of do something that he knows triggers me. And I'm just like, what the, what's the point? But it's mostly unambiguous women that I have issues with. Other people like me. <laughs> Other races of people like me. My own people don't like me. It's not, I'm not even mixed race. I'm monoracial. But, you know, y'all say we're black. Um, you know what I'm saying? But y'all don't act like we're black. If we're exotic looking but that's all i really wanted to talk about adult bullies um just don't let them bother you don't let them get to you if they're older than you and they're hating you know where it's coming from you know where it's coming from especially if you didn't do nothing to them if you went to school don't let these teachers give you a hard time don't let these managers mess with you female managers can be messy especially if they don't like you they'll give you hard assignments on purpose that's been happening to me recently with the female workers ridiculous and online i see every other day somebody making a video about exoticals united trying to dox her trying to call her this and that bleach this bleach that like all this bleach shit is just dumb because first of all we're not bleaching we're lightning there's a difference and any light-skinned person who's light-skinned knows that when during the summertime, if you don't hide from the sun like most of you guys do, if you don't hide from the sun, what happens? You get darker. That's what happens to most light-skinned people. And that tan doesn't look that great on you because it's not our natural skin color. It has a dull look to it. But I'm not going to keep hiding from the sun during the summer months. 
So my skin's just gonna do what it do, get darker. So when the summer's over, yeah, I wanna get rid of it. And I'm doing it naturally. So that whole skin tone thing is just, that whole bleaching thing is just ridiculous. People are just trying to find an aha moment to try to make our space go away or try to cancel us or whatever. And it's not gonna work. It's not like we're saying that we lighten because we're already light skinned. Y'all say that's called self hate. Wouldn't it not be self hate if we were born light, light skinned? Wouldn't it be self hate if we were trying to get a tan? But nobody would have a problem with that. I'm almost certain they would not have a problem with that. So it's just weird to me, but what can you do? Yeah, um, this is just gonna be real quick, a real quick video. I'm about to go eat something. I just been dealing with adult bullies all week from the managers to co-workers, people online. It just won't stop and it's not gonna stop. As long as you choose to be authentically you, be a bad bitch, be pretty, claim you're exotical and say fuck the world and what they have to say because you love yourself, right? Self-love is, I don't know why people have a problem with when light-skinned people choose to self-love, everybody else can self-love on themselves. But not light-skinned people. Not light-skinned black people. Nope. We can't do that. Like my girl Tyler, right? When when I first saw Tyler before she blew up, I knew she was going to be somebody that people were going to give a hard time to. I mean, because I was following her when she was doing the UK tour with Chris Brown and stuff. Uh, I was like, okay, um, people are going to give this girl a hard time. And um, that's just an exotical experience. She literally did nothing wrong at the VMAs, in my opinion. How is that being a mean girl? If you're that skinny, even skinny people should understand who aren't strong, would understand that, you know, those awards are probably made out of real gold or something. I don't know. But I know those materials are heavy. They're very heavy. So for people to, like, people are trying to find a reason. The same way that they try to find a reason with us, with this lightning thing, is the same thing they were trying to do with Tyla with the whole VMAs thing and the colored thing. Even though people all over the world explained what colored means in South Africa, people were still like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> it's weird. Um, but if she does, if she claims being black, she is going to be benefiting from colorism. But if she don't claim she's black, she's colorist. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it, but it is what it is. <laughs> like, as a pretty girl, you can literally feel the room shift when you walk into one. You can literally feel the room shift when you walk into a room of people. Because, I don't know. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. You can literally tell. At least with me because I'm a Pisces and I'm an empath so I can feel other people's emotions and stuff So I don't know if other people know what I'm talking about But you can sense energies when you walk into a room if it's a room full of girls if It's a room full of guys. You already know what they on It can get overwhelming with the guy thing Because guys act like they don't know how to act when they see you They get so weird around you they start saying anything the stuff that don't even make sense i don't know if they nervous or anxious i can tell they be sometimes the way they be moving i'm like do i make you nervous it's okay <laughs> i don't be trying to make people nervous i just try to be myself oh uh, you know <laughs> i've seen attractive people before so i get it you know i get it but I, it's okay with me i promise i'm not gonna bite i promise i'm not gonna bite but my main bullies as far as females have always been unambiguous women, and I just hate to say it, but it's true. When I walk into a store, a, res a place where there's a receptionist and she's unambiguous, a lot of the times they've given me heart, either an attitude, just a hard time in general, gave me a mean mug, rolled their eyes. I've actually had somebody roll their eyes at me before. I'll never forget that girl, because I was like, what was that for? Like, her energy was just very passive-aggressive. And that's exactly what it is. They're very passive aggressive with you. 
a lot of adult bullies. They use that uh, microaggressions and whatnot a lot of the time. So you kind of just have to pick up on people's energy. Some people would just stop talking to you all in general. Just out the blue, somebody you thought you was cool with. Just out the blue, just... They ain't speaking to you no more. You don't know what you did. This is a pretty girl's experience. I mean, <laughs> people would just stop talking to you out the blue. Yeah, it's bad. Rumors have been started about me. Like, I don't even know how. And I'm a really nice person. I just be trying to help people. You know, I be that's what I be really trying to do, just help people. I've always had that type of a heart where I want to help people. But if I look better than a female, a lot of the time she's giving me a hard time. Or it's kind of like there's no middle to anything either people are overly obsessed with you or they don't like you at all when i said a lot of men fall in love like when i made that video men always fall in love either somebody always has a crush on you a crush on you or they want to sleep with you it's always something i don't care what race they are if they see you you can tell the white men are cr cringy with it Especially if they're older, they make me cringe because they don't got no chill. They'll be smiling all in your face like, and you'll, you know how you stare at somebody and you see them staring at you and some normal people would just look away. A lot of the white men don't give a shit. They won't look away. So it's just really cringy because they be older than me. It's all, I don't know what it is about older men. Like, I, I love <laughs> But yeah, but anyway, that's all I really wanted to talk about. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for listening.